back, Side High Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this old 1990s 35mm film camera, and I want to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any useful components worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is basically see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, and basically remove all the screws that I find. Okay, now i got the housing removed, and as you can see, it's just a very simple circuit. Next, I'm going to remove the circuit, separate it from the housing, pull it off, okay, so now what I need to do is remove a few more screws to remove some components. Hmm, how interesting, a little DC motor. That's very nice, I can definitely use that. Ooh, a high voltage flash capacitor. Those are also very nice. Oh, how nice, a very simple LED. Okay, so now I'm going to go and remove the rest of the components. And there, all of the components, except for that one resistor that I broke, is all removed. There, now I have a blank PCB. And here are all of the components that I've salvaged. Some of them I broke, so I'm just going to throw those away. Ah, how nice, a little transformer. A green LED. A few more capacitors, an electrolytic capacitor, and ceramic capacitors, a little inductor, and this flash capacitor. I like flash capacitors. I got some gears, this little lens that's very nice, and the little viewfinder lens that can be very useful to use as a magnification lens, and this little DC motor is very nice. And I have some wires. Wires are also very useful. And a little spring. What I find most interesting about the camera is this little viewfinder lens. I can definitely use this as a wide angle lens or a magnification lens. To use it to view things up close and to magnify things up close. Basically it's like a jeweler's lens. And if I remove the center lens right here, I can be able to see things up close, like a jeweler's lens. And as you can see, this is all of the items that I found from this camera. I have right here this little stretchy spring. That can be very useful for some projects. I have right here this little xenon flash bulb. This can be very useful. I can probably use this as a mini bright flashlight. Or, since it gets very hot, I can probably use it as a light soldering iron. Many different possibilities with that little light bulb. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of an old 1990s 35mm film camera and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching SciTech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.